do... There's not really anything... Maybe if we camp? I mean... What do you want me to do? I got the Rod of Creation, so I'm pretty sure... Uh... <laughs> oh, come on! Will you give me a freaking break? Dude, I just beat... I just killed Boy. You guys really shouldn't be messing with me. You know? Like, what do you really think you're gonna do to me? Other than annoy me. Alright. I mean, that's pretty much, uh... Yeah. I'm gonna have to load it, and I'm gonna pause it. While I, uh, I'm gonna go back to the sorcerer's cave, the, the cave where I got the ring of mind, I think. Um, and you can just show them the goblet or something over and over again. And, uh, you, you get, you can get infinite XP there, so I'll go up to the max level, get the best spells. And, uh, well, first I'm gonna warp over to this island. See what happens if I go back in that place. Um, just gotta find it. I'm not really mad, I'm kind of amused that I beat that without, you know, being max level and all that. And just at, at everything that's happened here, it's kind of amusing. So, let's go in here and see what happens. Whoa, whoa! Nice! From the Book of Buck. So it was that the victorious Sorcerer Buck of the Academy of Mind did defeat the evil Void. With Void's vessel on this world destroyed, the Deceiver did flee forever. Buck then passed through the fount of heaven, bearing the holy seal of Nexus. The mighty Nexus looked down upon his home and saw that Buck had brought all eleven rings of power into his presence. The prophecy fulfilled, Nexus did transport Buck and the rings to his realm. Once in the majestic realm of, the, of Nexus, Buck willingly gave all eleven rings of power to the great being. In response to this gesture, Nexus restored the rings to their original form as the Rod of Creation and returned it to Buck. And then a great voice filled Buck's head. Welcome to my realm, Buck. You alone of your race have shown purity and courage to reclaim all the rings of power and return them to me. My brother Void has fled this world and I must follow. He and I are but two sides of the same coin. As much as he hates me, he cannot destroy me. I will ensure that Void does not return here. Someday it will be, it may be that we will join again and become that which we once were, greater and at peace. You have proved your worthiness, and I shall leave the rod of creation in your trust. Use it wisely to rule your people. It upsets the balance between my brother and I, and we are better off without it. Good luck to you and your world. With this, the being Nexus departed this dimension into, in pursuit of his brother. And so Buck II left the realm of Nexus and returned to his world. There he used the power of the Rod of Creation to build a mighty palace where the Fount of Heaven once stood. From that palace, he would direct the destiny of the world. Ooh. Nice. What? What, what, what? He's directing the destiny of the world. Here go the rings. Boop, boop, you. We won. We killed your void. We killed your boy, void. What do you like? Well, actually, we didn't kill him because you can't kill a god. Was that like backwards? I thought they were making the rod of creation. Whoa, is that Buck? Whoa, buddy! Whoa, nice castle! He's Swiss! Or something. No offense to Swiss, I'm sure that's not what your flag looks like. Whoa, Buck, you look haggard. What happened, man? Long night of drinking? I'm sure. 
Uh, I need some coffee. I just saved the world, meet Nexus. I need some coffee. Arr. Fireworks? What? <laughs> nice. Very nice. Rings of Power, a fantasy adventure by Naughty Dog Incorporated. Published by Electronic Arts. Produced by Christopher Earnhardt, Naughty Dog Team, Jason Rubin, Andy Garvin, BJ Panda, Alexander Hind. All right, I can't read all these, you know, seriously, because I'm gonna mispronounce mispronounce a lot of names. Uh, it was like mainly three guys that made program this game, so. Well, legal crew, you always want to know that, right? Naughty Dog Bark, Casey Williams. Who was the, who was the boob girl? Well, the world will never know. like the world will never know how often I play with my joystick or how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop. Yep. So I, I guess you're, I, I hope you're enjoying the credits. That was awesome, man. I just beat that like totally not at the max level. That's like a lesson for you. Mesmer? Like, aside from damage spells, the best spell in the game. I mean, you're talking about making a fight uh, a three on six or a two, a two on six battle. So even if they're like huge in level, you're good. It, that's why it costs like half of your mana to cast it, but yeah. As far as uh, uh, combat spells go or attack spells, um, yeah, it would probably have to be Blaze and Frenzy of the ones that I used. I'm sure that some of the other ones are good, too, the higher level spells, if you know you're only going to do one fight. Um, yeah, I'm really glad I stopped reading these names, because I have no idea. Yeah. Well, credits, man. I guess that was a cool ending. I don't know, I've always found like a lot of times endings are kind of disappointing when, with, um, with, uh, role-playing games. Like, I remember beating, uh, Dragon Warrior, and it was kind of disappointing. Because you can't play anymore, and it's like, ah, oh, it's over. Alright, well, that's it, so, um... I'll just, I'll cut one video off here. Oh, you have the run of the world. Have the rod of creation. Of course, I already had the run of the world, but I hadn't seen the um, end of the game yet. Yeah. So, yeah, just go ahead and cut the video off around here, um, and then I'm gonna, uh, cheat and, uh, do it again, just to show the high-level spells, I guess. Alright, so, see you when I get back.